this is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. What up? This is DC Channel Guns coming at you with another gun video. Appreciate you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Now, this video here is the continuation of my AR pistol build. Now, the last update I did on my AR pistol, you know, I had um, a few things left. Um, basically, primarily my weapon light and my upper for my AR pistol. Now, one of my items came in, and that is my weapon light. Now, um, I know y'all heard of this um, website called Wish. Um, I ordered something on it a long time ago, so I decided, you know, to get up there and order something else. Now, it's coming from China. Now, it came in. We're going to review it. It's going to be the fake Surefire M300 Weapon Light Series from Wish. And, you know, a lot of people might be on the fence when it comes to the imitation of fake lights and stuff like that. But, you know, I'm a budget guy. I'm not about to spend two, three hundred dollars on a weapon light and stuff like that. It is not going to happen. Um, some of you think you're going to be in combat and the majority of you might be behind the trigger, maybe a couple rounds and stuff. You're not going to be in conditions where you're in actually war and stuff. I just need a basic, you know, weapon light on my um, AR pistol, um, something Primarily for me is going to be mostly home defense, rain use. Um, I'm not looking to get in no type of war and stuff no time soon. So, you know, I'm right now um, just going to review this budget light. And, you know, I think it's awesome. Um, I, I think a lot of you enjoy it. You know, if you go to wish.com, check it out. Um, they got some um, some really um, unique items up there. Uh, make you want to scratch your head about a whole lot of these name brands that's out there. A lot, I know a lot of people go, you know, is all in when it comes to name brand items, but you know, I'm a budget guy. Um, that's that's just the way I think. That's just the way I am. But you know, like I said, I'm gonna give you an awesome review on this um, M300 series, the Fake Surefire um, from Wish.com. So let's get into it. Let's check it out. So here we go. So right now you're looking at the. Um, M300 series weapon light, the fake surefire. Now, when you get it, it's gonna come in a box like this, pretty much. Um, but it's gonna be another box. That's, it's gonna be a box inside a box, what they're gonna ship it in. But this is the box that the surefire is gonna be in, the M300 series weapon light. Now, um, the note, it does not come with a CR123A battery. It will not come with a battery. So, um, right here, we're looking at the paper and basically, it's just showing you uh, what you're going to get in the package and stuff like that. How much the, the light weigh and stuff like that. So you can get all that information right here. Um, it shows the battery on the paperwork and everything, but you're not going to get a battery. So um, one of the sections you're going to get, this is going to be your, right here is going to be your um, momentary output installation. Um, stuff right here comes with a sticky pad for the stick it to your weapon um, it comes with the the back piece for your um, weapon light and then it comes with this little plug here um, for your m300 series weapon light that you put into the back piece and we're going to hook that up and everything let's get this out of the way and then it's going to come with your weapon like what everyone wants to see. Now, this is what it looks like. Now, it looks bigger on the picture, but it's actually smaller. It's not as big as it looks. Now, um, you screw this little head part off. See that? It's a great, awesome light. Very budget friendly. You can stick a little battery and stuff in there. And then you can take this back part off too, but you know, just to show you. See that? Make a little back part. And then it has the little toggle button and stuff right there too. And so, you know, we're gonna test it out and see how that works. So, uh, what I'm gonna do, we're gonna install the battery and we're gonna check out the light. So we have installed the battery and let's check out the light, the little switch. Now it clicks on and if you click it, it clicks off. Now it doesn't have 
a little pressure button where you just push it to hold it, you know, you know, just cut it on like this and just let it go. It has to click every time. Um, so that's how it got to do. That's the brightness or whatever on it. So um, we're going to hook the momentary switch to it and see how that works. Now, um, we done installed the momentary um, back piece and everything. So this is what it looked like right here. Now, it's going to be a little piece like that that they're going to give you. You're going to replace this piece. Now, um, all you have to do is just take this little plug out and you take the momentary piece out. I mean, the momentary piece and you just stick it in. Just push it all the way in to it connect. And then you get a little pressure pad right here. And they give you your... And the light is pretty bright. It's pretty bright. And that would give you um, your um, your instant on and off when you hook it to your weapon. Now, um, like I said, it's, it's great. Um, now, I want to note that it is supposed to be weatherproof. And they do have um, an O-ring and gasket seal and stuff on the inside and everything. Um, at least that's what the uh, paperwork says and stuff. So, it does have that. Now, the output of this light here is um 400 lumens and it's supposed to have a tactical run time of 1.5 uh, hours now i haven't tested to see how long it runs but at least that's what it says on the paperwork and everything so um uh, we're gonna go and before i do that um let's talk about this right here your rail mount uh it's pretty solid um real good and sturdy and like I said, uh, this is a great rail mount and look like you can probably get some more attachments for it to switch it out or something. If you have a different rail, but don't fit on the rail or the type of, you know, picnic rails and stuff that's on um, different weapons and stuff like that. But um, it only come with this one base piece, which I think should be enough. Um, so, you know, if you can see they come with a sticker saying caution, hot surface, and it said KE1A some little numbers and stuff now it doesn't have surefire nothing written on it only place i see surefire is on the little momentary pad that's it but far as that is one of the clones and everything and i think it's awesome and um it'll do exactly the job that i need and everything so we're gonna i just want to do a quick review i don't want to make it too long but we're going to get to another segment where i'm gonna cut the lights out and let you see how it works so here it go so you can't see me right now. So purpose of what happened? Well, uh, I got the light off so you can see this weapon light. You see that? Um, it's real bright to me. It's bright enough for me and everything. You see my face? Look like a ghost. But uh, put it towards the back of me and everything. Lights up real good. Awesome weapon light. Can't beat it. Powered off that CR123 battery, just one. So, can't beat it. So, I just gave you this awesome review on this M300 um, weapon like series um, from Wish.com, um, the fake Surefire. Um, if you're still on the fence, then, you know, just keep thinking about it. But, you know, right here, I, I paid under at least $30 for this light. That's what shipping and everything. I paid under under thirty dollars, and you can't beat it. I'm to my for the spend 150, 200 to some of your competitors out there that's telling you about the other lights and weapon lights and stuff like that. Uh, you can get this fake Surefire M300 series and take the rest of your money and buy ammunition. That's the most important thing that you can get right now. And you know, hey, uh, I'm just a budget guy, but this is DC Channel Guns, and I'll catch you on the next one. This is DC Channel Guns, like and subscribe, thank you for watching.